I'm really curious about the, um, the logistics of Laredo. How much of what happened there did we bring? Did we bring in other folks, et cetera? Anything all right, all right ground man. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we, we met a, a curious fellow who has kind of a godfather vibe named Pascal, who uh, <laughs> uh, lives, down, lives down there. And we met him all at once before the show last year. We've been in touch with him over the course of this year. Um, so the food festival and all the tickets and arrangements for that, the chairs and tables were done through the Towns Restaurant Association. There's a company, an audio company in La Paz who we worked with last year who carted in that stage. We, um, we had a tender with our own rented audio gear and performer instruments that went out um, and also some basic office supplies for last minute signage printing and stuff. Um, then we had reservations of three hotels in the town one is a holding pen for performers coming off the ship, can't keep them fed and water, give them a place to drop their stuff. Um, one for uh, roof access for a photo in the town square. We had a photographer with a drone going around out there, and then we had a third hotel where our office was, um, was set up. And uh, the coolest part was that I had the keys to the golf cart. <laughs> <laughs> but the, uh... Pascal arranged for the sound production company that actually is based in La Paz to bring all that equipment up and that was set up beforehand and the communication was great. So once we got there, boom, link up, magic concert. 